Hello, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what? Love, Amores, de... I'm just kidding. Pew, pew, pew. I don't know. It's been in my head all day, guys. I'm sorry. All day long. I just love watching her do it. Anyways, how are you guys doing, Cap? I hope you're doing super fantabulous. Happy July. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yes, because we're going to move forward with these reads, and we're going to enjoy ourselves, and we're going to have a great time, okay? Now, with that being said, if you're new to my channel, where have you been? Because they have like pretty much blacklisted me on here or blackballed me, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can't even find my videos anymore. So <laughs> be sure that if you're following me, unfollow me, then refollow me and then put on for notifications because you're not even getting them anymore. All right. Now, something about being an older channel. Anyways, with that being said, if you want to have a good time and you're not busy Tuesday nights, you should come on over to Instagram and go visit at Arena Luciano because we go live for happy hour, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. Readings, I give away free readings. You can buy your reading, however you want to do it. It's a great time. It's a good way to connect also. We've been together for a while, but I'm finally um, telling you guys all about it today. So with that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. So the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general oracle, general um, tarot, singles, couples, and all signs. All right, so are we ready? Let's go. Capricorn, on the 2nd of July, Neptune went retrograde in Pisces. Yeah, Neptune, this dreamy energy said, baby, let's do it, okay? Now, let's not be delusional, let's be dreamy. Now, Mercury entered into Leo. People's communication was a little aggressive for some, okay? I experienced some backfires over there. However, this is about expressing ourselves, okay? On the 5th, new moon in Cancer, 14 degrees, lots of change, and it's coming through your dreams, baby. How are you going to move forward? What are you going to do? And how are you going to initiate these big changes? Now, on the 11th, Venus enters into Leo. Yes, this is a beautiful energy of love, romance, and excitement. Enjoy the ride. And on the 15th, we have Uranus conjunct Mars. Uranus, the planet of unpredictable energy, right next to Mars. F around and find out energy. Everything's getting exposed. People will be stepping down. Leadership is changing. You might get a new boss, all right? Or you might be the new boss. Now, the 20th, we have Mars entering into Gemini. Mars, the energy of, or the planet of action. It says, you know what? You want to talk about it? Let's be about it, all right? We're about wrecking shop over here. And on the 21st, full moon in your sign, second one for the year. And this is all about our finances. So you need to start focusing on manifestation, baby. Let's get it going, okay? Now, on the 25th, Mercury enters into v v Virgo, Virgo, I can't even say it. Um, the details are, the devil is in the details, as they say, you know, they, we need all the information. We want all the smoke. We want it all. Okay. We need to know what's going down. Now, the 26th, we have the Chiron retrograde and that's going to go all the way until December 29th. So get ready for some healing and get ready for some growing and developing. All right, let's jump into it. Your Rune is Degas or Degas, okay? This beautiful energy right here is about rebirth, major changes. We are really working on that throat chakra. The color is light blue. What goes up must come down, okay? What goes around comes around. This is like karma, okay? And I feel like it's coming back around, baby. It's rearing its ugly head. Remember Saturn? We have the Saturn retrograde also going on. I want you to think about the things that have been paying out in your life for the last seven years. Are they revisiting? Are you doing the same thing? Do you need to change? All right. However, this rune is all about hope, relief, and clarity. Really working with that throat chakra, okay? Now, your animal card is that of the black egg. This is a very interesting card. I had to look it up. It's tied to the realm of spirit, okay? This is about finding your authentic voice. Truth. No more lies. Are you being true to you? All right? Fifth chakra, the throat. Your color is blue. It's time to be authentic to you. It's time to be you. It's We're not pretending. We're not being who our parents want us to be, who our husbands and wives want us to be. We are being us. And this is being truthful and honest and authentic, okay? So that could be something that Saturn is trying to teach you also. Now, 
With that being said, uh, let's jump into it. You have nothing but the planet of Venus trying to come through and say, baby, can we beautify this? Can we make it look good? Can we make things beautiful again? Okay, because that's what's coming in for you. We want to make love again, all right? Now, I feel like I should have more cards. Anyways, your first love card is that of the King of Keys coming from overseas. Castle player 200 Gs, baby. It is time to put your mind on your money and your money on your mind. This is about moving into management, real estate, communications, um, media, mass, mass media, okay? Social media. Putting yourself back out there. Or this could be somebody who's got their eye on you. However, the key here is not to be too fragmented. You're kind of pulling yourself in so many different directions you don't know what is going on, okay? Now, your next card, mucho cuidado aquí, we got the lookout, okay? Be on the lookout for a, a perplexing situation that could happen. This is very similar to the tower, and it's kind of telling you, like, beware, beware, beware. However, just know you are divinely protected when the warrior card comes out, and nothing can take you down, all right? Dates to look forward to the 2nd, the 3rd, the 6th, the 8th, 15th, 17th, and 21, all right? And especially August 21st, because it's my birthday, all right? I'm going to have my Amazon list up soon. Y'all can hook it up. All right. Now, let's go to the yes or no. This is the part of the reading where we answer a yes or no question. And yes or no, here we go. All right. Question one. Whoa. Question two. Whew. Overall energy, better save your coins, my friend. A little take it easy, my friend. Four of Pentacles, you need to stand on business, too. So, for question number one, it's going to be a no. It's the devil. I feel like the devil is in the details. You need more information. I also feel the 16th is going to be very important. And I also wanted to tell you, you need to put yourself first. For question number two, this is a yes. It's the Ace of Pentacles. Go for it. It's all you, boo, and you look amazing doing it. All right, let's get into that. General read for you. General love read. What do we have? Let it go, let it go, let it go. All right, make room for something new, boo. Why are we holding on to the old? It's time for transformation. We are getting serious. There is commitment in the air, and we are opening up our heart. <sighs> but we got to be patient, all right? We got to be patient as we move through this situation. All right, let's get some energies and see what's going on. What does the tarot have for our beautiful cat? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus as we're listening for love. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We're, we're moving slow. We're getting through this. You know, I like his little fist with the coin. He like, that's mine. You know, and he's moving through and he's got the horse. He's making some big changes, but he ain't rushing. He's taking his time, okay? Holding on tight with that four pentacles, all right? You're like, mm, I don't know. I ain't ready to go all the way in, but I'm going to put my toe in the water and see what happens, all right? Then we have the beautiful chariot right here, okay? This is maybe you didn't want to go on a trip. Maybe you're going on a trip. Maybe you're saving for the trip. But whatever it is, you're moving forward. I will also say save for some car repairs that could be coming in also. Now, we are communicating. We're moving forward. We're talking about our victories and how wonderful we are. And we need to watch our resources with the Five of Pentacles and also watch our words. There is something about balancing your masculine and feminine energy whenever the black and white animals show up. It's about honoring both sides of you, the giver and the taker. All right. Overall energy, we got the fool. We're going to go for it. We're going to take that risk. We're going to make it happen. So I do foresee maybe some financial issues because of a trip, a car issue. But we have got to start speaking up about the finances or speaking up about how people hurt our feelings with the words they use. OK, give me more on that five of pentacles. The Ace of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. In order to be loved the way that we want, need, and desire, in order to move forward, we have got to start expressing ourselves and telling people what we want, need, and desire. All right. Let's get into it, baby. Let's get into this singles read. So what's up, my Cappies? What's going on, my Capricorn singles? Let's see here. Whoa, first card. We got a long-distance lover, or we feel very far from the person we're in love with, and we think there's someone else. What? Shocking. All right, and we got to give us some time, baby. We got to wait and see. Everything is going to flow with divine timing. And remember, we are working on our manifestation skills. We are calling in what we want, what we need, and what we desire. All right, let's get a little bit more clues. What's up with this distance card? What's up with this? You and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Somebody's not feeling like they're enough, okay? There's some self-sabotaging, some frustrations there. 
I, I don't know why she's got like blood. Uh, this really disturbs me. That card disturbs me. Like, are you eating red velvet cake? I like, what is going on? I don't know. Someone else, we got someone else. That, um, this could be a third party that maybe one of y'all aren't even talking to. They're just looking at pictures of you, throwing that energy. They miss you. Oh, they want to they wanna come back. Oh, give it time, says. Somebody's watching. Why you peeping me? Everybody knows that I'm a G. Cat. They want you, boo, and they want you back. They're going to be calling you. They're going to be calling you. They love you. I love you, Cap. That's beautiful energy. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's jump into this read. Let's see what we got. So, all right. Bless these cards. Show us this energy that you have for our sexy and amazing, brilliant Capricorn. We are starting off with the Eight of Pentacles. All we do is work, 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 work. Okay, we need some balance. This is also you focusing on your manifestations, maybe creating abundance for yourself, okay? We're going to follow our hopes, our dreams, our wishes with the Nine of Cups. We're going to keep our promise to ourselves, too, because we're looking forward to the future with the Three of Wands. We're ready for something new, and we're calling it in, or we have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces praying for us. They want us to come home, okay? Okay. <laughs> But we feel like the Ten of Swords when it comes to love. Okay, so Cap, you just kind of feel like no matter how hard you try, it's just not working to your advantage. And it gets a little bit stressful for you. So this Eight of Pentacles energy coming through, what is this about for our beautiful Caps? What do we have? You know, I apologize. I don't know what I did to my hand, but it has been hurting me so bad. I almost feel like a, a vein is going to burst or something. It should probably take some Tylenol. All right, we need to work on not getting into bad habits, okay? Whether this is overindulging or over drinking. I also want to say be careful for going to taking drinks after work with somebody. You might go a little too far, okay? Very immature energy with the Knave of Pentacles and then the Knave of Swords, okay? And I feel like somebody might be watching you go a little too far, okay? Because they want to go and tell about your new beginning. So someone is watching, someone is spying on you because you're so sexy, you know? <laughs> so that energy does come through. However, you're like out here living your best life. You're the treasure, you know, like you're amazing. Nine of Swords, it's been a hard road to get there. Someone is moving. You feel backstabbed also about a situation with the Five of Swords, and it's completely done and over with the individual that's fine. We have three nines in a row. You could be seeing 999, nine, nine, which means we are done. We are ready for the next. We are ready for the next level. Do, 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 do. I was going to do that um, Mario song, but I, I lost the beat. My bad. Anyways, we are definitely moving on from someone who cut us off or made us feel like we weren't enough. Three of Wands, what do you have for us? There they are. Okay, that's the Capricorn card, okay? And you pulled your card twice, even in the, in the yes or no. However, they miss you. They miss you in the bedroom. They miss what you do for them, how you make them feel. I told you, the Ace of Wands, they miss it, okay? They've been trying to manifest you to come back. They're like psychically doing the hoo boo doo boo with you, and it's not working, okay? You're like, I, I rebuke that energy. I rebuke it. You're like, you can't have this. You can't have none of this, all right? So what does this person from the past want to tell our beautiful Capricorn, okay? What do they want to tell you? Let's see. You tame my demons. Woo! I fantasize about you. I told you it's hot and steamy in the bedroom. They miss you. I knew you were the one when I met you. The one for the bedroom. That's for sure. Cat, I need to work on myself. I'm trying to clear my head for someone else's, okay? And I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had till it was gone. And I'm on my way to you. And Capricorn said, you can try. You can try, but I've moved on. I also feel like some of y'all have moved, like literally moved because you have a contract, the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like you're doing different things now. You're moving forward. You're investing in different things. You know your worth with the Empress and they regret it. They regret it. I think they've seen you out with someone else. Um, and I get very strong Pisces. Um, okay, Pisces, Aquarius, and Cancer. Somebody is just like all like upset about you, okay? 
However, we end this month with the Queen of Cups. You're like looking fabulous, manifesting, all emotionally secure and balanced. Look, Queen of Cups with the Queen of Cups. How... How often does that happen? Like all the time. No, I'm just kidding. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So I kind of feel like in this situation, it's really telling you to nurture yourself and also finding someone who can see the best in you. I do think someone is crying over spilled milk, crying over how they did you. Okay, because they see that you've moved, I'm trying to cover up, they see that you've moved on, they see that you're happy, that you you took that other offer, you took, you took it and you're gone, and now how are they going to get their cat back? They're not. You're like balls to the wall, you're done, you're good. And right behind that is the Ace of Pentacles. So you're like, I'm out. I'm going to take what I got, and I'm out. Got the Queen of Wands here, okay? They, they like your uh, body very much. They're also going on a trip. Maybe it's a work-related trip, but you're gone. You're just like, look, I may not come back. I'm going to pack these bags, and we're going to see what happens. So I get this energy that the person from the past really misses you in the bedroom. They really want to come back. They made you feel like you weren't enough. They thought the grass was greener on the other side. Sturdy of our life. And now they're stuck wondering, well, um... Hey, hey Cap, what are you doing? Can we have another go at it? And Capricorn is already <clears throat> gone. You're gone, all right? You're finished, you're done, you're good, you're out the door. So let's get a description of the person coming in for you. Who is coming in for Capricorn? Who's got their eye on Capricorn? Let's see. We got Aquarius here. We have someone with really cute little like teddy bear eyes, a pointy nose, and a very distinct voice. Then we have someone with Libra energy. This person can be very petite, small features, big gums, little teeth. There's something about their teeth. And there's also something maybe about their hair. They're just very small, petite. Then we have Pisces energy here. And this is someone who looks very Mediterranean. <clears throat> Dark skin, light eyes kind of vibe. And then we have Scorpio energy. A lot of water signs here. Then we have Scorpio energy, um, darker hair, darker skin, um, a, a scar on the face or a tattoo on the face, okay? Very interesting energy you got coming in. Let's give these cards a real good shuffle back, cap. Oh my gosh, my hand hurts so bad. All right, let's see. Give me more clues. What else do they need to know? Your nails. There's something about nails. There's also something about a lot of texting that's going to be important. And the 25th could be very important for you. December 21st. I mean, December, Christmas. December 25th is possibly your birthday or something. Or like there's something very important other than Christmas, okay? Like we're talking about going somewhere, taking a trip. Now, we have the crown chakra showing up here. So this person... I feel like this person is um, really into maybe like psychic stuff or like intuitive arts. They like to um, go to psychic fairs. They like to read cards. They like to learn a Reiki. They're very spiritually inclined, okay? Very open. Um, they get very nervous around you too. And then they, you guys have like similar, a little, little, I can't talk, similar taste in music, okay? Very similar taste in music, but very different from each other. So you all be very different cultures or races. You just don't, there's like, y'all don't look like y'all match, but damn it, y'all do, okay? Y'all match. Y'all go together real bad, all right? <laughs> Let's get some initials here. What are these initials? I'm going to pull a handful out. I got the V for Virginia down to Tennessee. And then we got the N, okay? We got two N's. They could have two N's in their names and an A. Maybe their name is Vanna. Maybe, maybe their name is Savannah. However, they have these letters V and an A. Maybe it's Ann. I don't know. I don't know your life. Maybe it's Van. I used to know a guy named Van. It's a really interesting name. All right, let's see here. Signs. We have Sagittarius. Well, hello, Sag. How are you? We have Cancer in the house. Okay, let's get one more. Let's get two more. Gemini is interested. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another Capricorn. I don't know about Cap and Cap. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all might have to have different risings or something to make that work. But hey, they got their eye on you. But you do have somebody watching you. So if you feel like somebody was spying on your Instagram or your TikTok or something, they are. They are. Just to let you know, they are. 
All right, let's close this off with some little bit of Oracle for you. Thank you for letting me have fun with you guys. I really enjoy this. It's like a great hobby. <laughs> All right, we have the fifth chakra. That is definitely what's going on here. We really got to speak up. Archangel Gabriel wants to come through for you. We are also healing. There's a lot of the healing energy going on, and we're focused on family. We're focused on enjoying ourselves or who we want to build a family with. The fifth chakra is tied to the heart space and the hearts and this read. You're brokenhearted. We need to speak up about good things in our lives, okay? Somebody has their eye on you. You're, they're going to come help you heal, boo, okay? And they've been thinking about you or you are thinking about them. There's also someone in the family who wants to come through and like kind of be a mentor to you or help you out to get to the next level. So put a little love in your heart and let's go for it. All right, Capricorn. Let's go to our beautiful couples. Let's see what we got here for our couples. I'm going to move those cards there. Get these in here so we can reshuffle. Let's see what we got here for our beautiful couples. What do we have for the ones that know each other? Okay, maybe they're dating, maybe they're talking, maybe they're married, okay? But they know each other, not just up here, okay? It's not your boyfriend in your head or your girlfriend in your head, all right? We have air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Be patient, uh-oh. And we gotta give it time. Well, damn it to hell, Pi um, I was supposed to say Pisces, and then I pull Cancer Scorpio Pisces out here. Okay, give it time. We gotta be patient. We gotta be patient. We gotta be calm. Can we do that? I don't know. Well, you know, you're not a fire sign, so you possibly can. Capricorns are pretty patient. I'm not. I'm like, what are we doing? <laughs> what is this? What are we gonna do? Are we gonna do this or not? Like, what's going on? Air signs want you to know they're very sad about being separated from you. They're missing you and they're thinking about you, but they're not sure what's gonna happen in this relationship. Be patient. You have soulmate energy coming through or with you right now. Heads up. Okay. Soulmates. Let's talk about that for a second. They don't always, they're not like, oh, he's my soulmate. I'm so in love. It's like a challenging relationship, okay? Kind of like your children. Your children are your soulmates. They try you, okay? They make you go to a level you ain't never been. Just like your mama and your daddy. They're your soulmates too, okay? So learn to work with that energy. Give it time says unconditional love, self-love, and selflessness. However, we are getting clarity with a water sign, okay? The sword and the rose revelations, we're very determined. We're finding things out, okay? We're, we're, we're effing around and finding out. So let's see what we got here for our beautiful Capricorns in relationships. What is Capricorn's person thinking? I'm writing you a four-page letter. They want to be romantic. Mm, okay. But they can't pull it together. They're trying to balance. They're trying to, they're trying to juggle all these things for you, Cap. And they're like, ah! Okay. How do they see Cap? As a damn dirty winner. Uh, did you leave on a trip or something? They just, or they left on a trip with the Six of Wands. They're just like, wait a minute, where my boo at? Okay. They really miss you. Then we have the Queen of Cups. The Knight of Cups to the Queen of Cups makes me think also there could be some issues with the children. And when I say issues, I don't mean like bad things. It's like maybe you're taking them to dance, summer camp. Um, I know I have um, classes for my daughter and then I have to take my other one to college and then it's just like, blah, 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 you know. So there's a lot going on in this house. All right. Ten of Pentacles, family, 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 and we got the Hermit. There is definitely something with the trip, this ten and the nine right next to it. There's something that also happened with a Virgo, possibly, that we want to keep it on the hush-hush. Okay. We want to move. Nine of Cups. One of y'all wants to move. Move in, move out, move on. I don't know your life, okay? One more for that Knight of Cups. Five of Pentacles. So this person is kind of worried about the finances still, but they still want to do something romantic. They still want to do something fun, okay? We can still have fun on a budget. Balling on a budget cap, okay? We can have fun. What else What else do they want you to know? They love, they are enamored with you, okay? They, they touch themselves thinking about you. They love you. But something's changing. We have that Scorpio energy and then the Six of Pentacles. I feel like one of the one of y'all feels like you're giving more than the other, whether it's financially, emotionally, physically. And the other one is just like, I don't even know how to keep up. You know, can you keep up? No, they can't. They juggling, they're trying to they trying to they're trying to keep up and they can't. They can't find their balance with you. There's the Empress energy. 
with the six of cups and the four of wands so I want to say like look they know that they love you they're trying to balance everything there's something in the past that happened and they're trying to figure it out the word swinging comes to my mind take that how you want to okay proceed with caution like I said, I'm not for everybody, but I am for somebody, Ew, okay? Six of Wands, this is how they see you. They wanna grow old with you with the Seven of Pentacles. They wanna make this work. They see you as, let me, let me cover up those schnitties. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Um, they think that, they worship the ground you walk on, okay? Dang it, they love it. They love the spiciness, okay? They love the spiciness. They're very attracted to you. They love how you handle yourself. There's also a lot of good talk about you in the office with the two queens in your read. Ace of Wands, they, you're excited. There's something about a contract. I do think someone's getting a new home or something. We have to talk about something with the Two of Swords, though. So, And I don't feel like one of y'all wants to speak about it. They just want to pretend like nothing happened. The Ten of Pentacles is like a family situation with the Ten of Cups, very strong family, and also there's a work situation coming up for you. Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles. So if there's a position at work that you can apply for or something or that your partner can apply for, you know, give them the, give them the green light special, okay? Go for it, boo. I believe in you, okay? Go for it, Cappy. What is this hermit here? This hermit got the rhinoceros nose, okay? This is a rhino. This is a big deal. Okay, you might be getting the silent treatment. Shit. Five of Swords, something with the Hermits. Five of Pentacles. Ooh, shit. Nine of Cups. So you could be seeing the number 999 and the number 555 quite a bit this month, okay? And there is something about it being over with possibly <laughs> a Virgo or a water sign, okay? What does the Nine of Cups want you to know? The Chariot. Go take that trip. Enjoy yourself and make that major decision. I do believe the 27th is going to be very important for you also. All right. <clears throat> we got to start over. If we're going to invest in this relationship, we've got to start putting the relationship first. Um, there is a big opportunity coming in for you at work. I do feel that your partner doesn't feel like they are meeting your needs, almost like they're not enough for you. And they feel like very distant from you. They're trying to catch up. It could be family issues. It could be family travel. It could be something of that nature. But there's also something with the family that's coming up for you guys, okay? I don't see, like, huge issues. I just see, like, mm, some separations. We don't feel like things are flowing. We need some sexy time, okay? I'm going to pull out the Lenormand. I'm about to lose my voice. <clears throat> I'm going to pull out the Lenormand and see what we get. What is some guidance for them? What is some guidance for our beautiful Capricorns in relationships? What can what do they need to know? All right, let's see here. We have the letter. We have information's coming through. New information is coming in, okay? From a um, gentleman, okay? Um possibly, okay, I'm going to say from an Aquarius Okay, from an Aquarius, you're getting information from an Aquarius or you're getting information at a social setting or you're getting invited to like a wedding or something. Okay, and it's shocking for you. You didn't think that you were going to be doing that. And I'm going to say be very aware that it could be from a friend of me or someone that you don't really trust. You're getting information and I would say double check the facts. Okay, check the source as they say. All right, let's see. Let's close up your read and let's see what we got for you, our sexy, sexy Capricorn. Here we go. We got abundance. Okay, the cornucopia. The 11th could be very important for you, too. There's a contract <coughs> or a legal situation. Balance is needed as you move forward. Abundance. The money is going to come through, okay? Trust your intuition. And be patient with that contract. Read through that damn contract. Don't just be signing stuff, okay? And there are some financial decisions that need to be made. And if one door closes, just know that another one's going to open. And I also feel like there's some form of recognition for you at work. All right, let's get into the signs. This is going to be Aries to Pisces. Okay, remember this is a tarot read. This is not the all-knowing Nostradamus here. Okay, this is Ari. <laughs> this is Arena, and she doesn't know everything. So take the parts that fit, and if it doesn't fit, you know, share it with somebody who it might fit. 
All right, I'm cutting the deck. I have the Hermit Reverse. Somebody's not talking to a Virgo, and we're trying to heal from that, okay? Someone's not talking to a Virgo, or someone feels hurt from a Virgo, or they feel like they're being shut out from somebody's life, or you want to shut them out, okay? You're like, get the hell out of my house, okay? Lucky days for you are going to be the 2nd, the 3rd, the 6th, the 8th, the 15th, 17th, 21st, 25th, 27th, and... Remember the number nine, 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 five, five, five. All right, Boo Bear, let's see. The 12. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We need to make a decision over here. All right, that's you, Cap. And Aries is standing on business. I also feel like Aries could be telling their family stuff about you. You see all the red flags? Pay attention to them, Boo. Don't ignore. The 16th could be important. You are all cried out over someone, all brown and broken on the floor. You're torn up. And Taurus is still in love with you. All right. I'm still in love with you. What's the solution? We need to talk about it. We need to discuss it. We need to make a choice. The fifth was important. We have the seven of cups. You don't know what the hell you want, Capricorn. But Gemini says it's a yes. I'm going to take it. I'll take it home, right? And the solution is a lot of conversating and a lot of sex. It's great. All right, the first was important for you. We're healing, we're taking it easy, and cancer is on fire, okay? They like you, they want more of you, but there's a bit of a betrayal. I kind of feel like, you feel like maybe cancer is a little too spicy one day, and we didn't like it. The 10th could have been important. Capricorn. What's wrong? You don't want to start over? Leo doesn't either. There could also be some issues with children coming through, and we don't want to talk about it. And I almost want to say somebody doesn't want you to come over, all right? Or you want them to come over. The second could have been important. Here you are at the Ten of Cups. You don't feel like it's very successful. And Virgo said, I'm getting the hell out of here. Stop neglecting my emotions. I am done, okay? I am done with you. However, we're still hung up on the situation. We don't know what to do. All right. Important day, the 12th. All right. You are really in your feelers with the three of swords. You feel betrayed. And Libra said, shut through the heart. They got you, boo. I don't know what Libra did to you, but they made sure they got to you, Cap. Okay. Libra says, sorry. And they're fighting. Okay. These are fighting words. These are bloody shoes. The seventh could be important. Here you are, ready to give your cup of love, and Scorpio said, let me think about it. Okay, <laughs> let's go! All right, there might be a trip, there might be something going on. I always want to say, like, we're going to go visit somebody's dad. I don't know. Anyways, the 19th could be important. Here we are, we're celebrating, we're feeling good, okay? And let's see, where do we leave off? Oh, Lord, I messed up. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Sagittarius is taking it easy. That's a first. And we're not talking about something. We're not discussing what needs to happen. And there could be authority in the way. Like somebody's getting in the way. Okay, the 10th could be important. My ear is itching. My ear is itching. Okay, that's random. And he has a weird earring in his ear. Okay, somebody is not listening to what you're saying. Okay, here you are. You're healing. You're moving forward. You're very hopeful. Okay, and the other Capricorn, they, they like this. They're like, okay, we can do this. I, I like you. But the passion isn't there. Okay, y'all see it growing, but there's no passion. All right, there's no sexy time. The third needs to be like, we need to get, we need to get in there. All right. Here you are being all unconventional, maybe even thinking about a divorce, okay? And Aquarius is like, look, pay up or get out. Whoa! And neither one of y'all are happy about this situation. Lucky day, the second. All right, my love bug, you are at the four of pentacles reverse. You feel like there's no foundation, and Pisces is like, we got a winner. Totally in different relationships. And they're going to invest in it. They're going to go for it. And they're going to ask you to go on a trip. All right. Your lucky day is the 8th. All right, my love bugs. That is your reading for the month of July. I hope you guys had a great time. Remember, come join me on Instagram. And let's be besties. Bye.